वेलकम टू कोडर ब्लॉक्स चैनल दिस इज क्विज ऐप सीरीज पार्ट फोर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड द टाइमर इन क्विज व्यू एक्टिविटी इन क्विज व्यू पेज सो वी हैव फिफ्टीन सेकेंड फॉर ईच क्वेश्चन इन क्विज व्यू एक्टिविटी वी हैव मल्टीपल क्वेश्चन एंड वी हैव मल्टीपल एम सी क्यूज वी हैव मल्टीपल ऑप्शन सो वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट वन ऑप्शन एंड देन वी हैव टू क्लिक ऑन दी सबमिट बटन बिफोर द टाइमर इज एंड सो दिस एक्टिविटी इज ऑल अबाउट टेस्ट इज ऑल अबाउट क्विज वेयर यूजर विल डू अ क्विज सो वी विल डिजाइन दिस एक्टिविटी इन दिस वीडियो राइट सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू गो टू ले आउट फोल्डर एंड देन वी हैव टू गो टू एक्टिविटी start quiz xml the front end of this file so at here we have to design the remaining parts so first of all i need the widgets of progress bar and i will make this progress bar horizontally and vertically center right this progress bar will be display first for 2 second then the quiz the start quiz activity will be display right so we have to make it uh, alpha 0 to make it uh, invisible for now right this is the progress bar then we have to add here question number and question and four mcqs and the remaining space will be covered by question mcqs and submit button but i want to make the remaining space extendable scrollable because in some case the question can be very large so it will occupy almost all the area of the screen and in this case i need to be i need to do something flexible so for that i will go to layout so in future i don't want this type of problem so i will go to container then i will go to nested scroll view right so this says it require a new library yes i will add this library so now it is adding this component this library so this will help me when the question is big so this will help me to scroll down if the whole screen is cover then it will be scrollable now promotion time this is my channel coder vlog if you did not subscribe this channel you can subscribe this channel to support my channel and for more updates if you are interested in my daily life then you can subscribe this channel uh, in this channel you will find you will find vlogging type of content uh, so subscribe this channel also to support me and uh, if you are interested in learning program then you can uh, join this course which will be launched in next week this is basically i am doing this basically for adaptive design so my design my screen should be flexible and adaptable so the nested scroll view the vertical scroll view occupy all the area of the screen so i don't want to occupy all the area of the screen i want to occupy the space remaining from the timer design so for that i will go to the constraint widget layout and i will give him some constraint vertically bottom left and right so i will make it zero and zero and i will occupy all the space zero zero and occupy all the space in this way the nested scroll view occupy the remaining free space right it did not occupy the timer design space so if i get a large question and the space and the whole space is covered then this uh, widget this widget will help the user to scroll down right so it provide flexibility to the design which is good thing to have it for adaptive design flexible design 
so inside here i will add one more constant layout constant layout is very good because you can uh, position your uh, text widget button according to your wants and the other layouts are little difficult this layout are easy and this layout are more flexible and advanced so i want to use constraint layout and inside the constraint layout first i will add a text view so this text view is for question number so i will give horizontal and vertical position to remove the error let's say question number 1 out of 10 out of 10 we have the first question and let's change the font family font family is okay let's change its size and color this is good now copy this text widget and make it little down and let's make this text widget not bold and this will be our question so question so this is the question but this question this text view widget should occupy all the area of the widthwise like i want to make it a uh, cover all the area of width because question can be large i don't know what is the quantity and how many words will be there in the question so i want to make it uh, occupy all the space horizontally right and and the height of this text view widget is not fixed it will be depend upon the number of words in the question if the number of words in the question is large so the height of this text view widget will be large also if less then the height of this text view widget will be less right so it is totally dependable on the number of words in the question so this is our second text view widget now i will add radio buttons but before radio buttons you have to add radio group it is very important and i will give the position relative to the second text view widget and i will keep it 32 dp space between these two widgets which is not enough let's make it 50 okay it's enough now and it should occupy so its height is a web content so it depend upon the content size so for now i will make it a 300 dp so now let's add radio buttons number one button now number two button now make this radio group height to, to wrap content so now it will be the size of the height will be depend upon the content of the radio button text right so i want to give little bit uh, padding so there are a lot of property so i will go to the padding property and i will give 10 dp padding right so that is it now i will add one button at the bottom and i will give bottom constraint for this button to 16 and i want to fill the width of the screen with this button for that i will give left right constraint and make it 8 right then i will click on this uh, arrow two times so this button will fill the space horizontally around the button right but the space between the left and right is 8 dp so let's make this button uh, text as submit answer submit answer right so our design is ready 
so one more thing I have to do is I have to change the text of the radio button so this will be option 1 this will be option 2 this will be option 3 and this will be option 4 right and the last thing I have to do is I have to set the on click property of the radio button so here is the on click property at here I will write option selected when so when user click on this uh, button this radio button so this function will be called right similarly I have to also set the on click property for the other radio button but at here you will see there is the error that option select function is not defined so we will define this function in our start quiz to remove this error right so I will define this function public wide option selected then view then v so let's import view class so the error is still remain so I will copy this uh, function name and go to activity start quiz add here I will paste that function name here and click so the error is gone similarly I will do with the other radio buttons to remove the error and in this way I remove error from all the radio button right now I will go to start quiz activity again so when the user click on the radio button so this function will be call so for now let's make a temporary toast make so toast will display a message so I will use toast dot make text then context so context is start start quiz dot this this is the context and inside the view so from the view I will take the radio button radio button and I will define here button right and this radio button I can take the text of this radio button by button dot get text then comma then then toast dot then short then dot then show right so in this way when someone click on the radio button this function will be called then from the view I will get the radio button object and with the help of radio button object I will get the radio button text right and I will display in the screen so now let's run the program and let's see how the output works now let's start the quiz to see the start quiz activity this is the final output final design of the start quiz activity where user will do quiz so this is the question number at here we have 10 question and this is question number one and the second one is the question it will contain the question and in the middle we have four option but the design but the spacing of the question and question number is different which is not looking good 
so i will fix this issue in next video and we have four options here and one option will be correct so these are radio button so if i click on the radio button so you will see that it is working fine this this function is working fine and it will display the text of the radio button so if i click on the option one so it is showing me the option one text similarly option two text similarly option three text so this function is working fine and that's it for today video in today video we do the designing of the start quiz activity right in the next video we will fix this uh, spacing issue and uh, we will do more things so see you in the next video please subscribe this channel for support and for more updates bye bye